Monday, October the 10th. And this is the second pump that I ordered when I ordered two of these pumps. First pump was damaged. There's a hole in the box. This one has some damage to the box here where it's trying to get out. It's cracked along here and along here and busting open a little bit there. The box doesn't look quite as bad as the other box. So I'm more hopeful for this pump. I hope this pump isn't damaged like the other one. Insanely cool cars, tool reviews, and auto repair videos. And there is tape on this side of the box. I'm cutting this. The staples are already gone on this end of the box. The staples are intact on this end of the box with the original uh, factory Ford sticker with the part number and the date 52993. So we're going to open this into the box which obviously has been opened before because the staples are gone. They're gone and it was replaced with tape. This was before I received it. And there's a piece of cardboard which was probably original it's yellowed a bit so it's probably old original piece of cardboard with paper a little paper which is helpful because at least that gives it some okay now these are heavy so I'm gonna set it down gently box out of the way we have some room here and where I'm most concerned where these usually get damaged are on the ends of the stators here. Right, this plastic is a different color than the other ones, but that's fine. Seal here. Where they usually will seal here. And all sides are sealed. The paper in here, paper has some damage right there, which is a little bit scary. But I can see this the ceiling ring is still on there. Hopefully it's okay. What I need to do here is make a slit so I can get to the pump and inspect it. And then we've got the tape right there. It's still the original paper here, November 1991. Use this side out, lot number M1. So, you know, this does look like original. Nice new pump. Let's hope that this end of the stator is still fine. Right, so we still have a ring there. Good looking ring, good looking ring. And this ring still moves freely. Look all the way around. It's usually there's if there's a dent right here, it'll pinch. Okay. That part looks good, so let's look further now. cosmetic but that's fine it's in no way shape or form pushing that in looks good there 
Dude. Take this apart and check the gears. Magnetic tray for the bolts. So I hold my hands under there and don't let it just drop and slam on the table. Not good for it. Plastic here. We'll lay the stator on it. It's got a little groove in the plastic. It keeps it from rolling around on the table. You can see right here, brand new stator, not even a hint of any kind of scratches or history marks like you would see on a used or rebuilt pump. Nice brand new gears. You can see a tiny bit of movement where they've been able to slide or move around in there because they're completely dry. And right here too, completely dry. I'm not sure why Ford doesn't put anything in there at all in their brand new pumps brand new bushing brand new seal brand new everything brand new housing and you can see there's absolutely no wear at all anywhere on this pump good looking pump i'm gonna do and this will be included in my listing so you'll know that i did put just a little bit of just regular petroleum jelly, which is compatible with transmission fluid, and it's compatible with the type of fluid. It's compatible with the rubber, the type of rubber that's used on the front seal. And what I do is put just a slight bit of that here and there. Making sure that there's no grit or anything there. Smeared around a little bit with my clean hands. And I'm going to get it on the seal a little bit and the bushing a little bit. So this pump will be ready to install. Whoever gets it, they can just take the pump out of the packaging, put it directly into the vehicle. Now, you'll notice there's a divot here. There's two little divots there. Those point towards the front. There's a recess right here that points towards the front to receive the hub from the torque converter. So all that needs to go back towards the front again, just like it was before. Now that tiny bit of petroleum jelly should also help make sure that these pump gears don't slide around quite so freely. Before when moving the pump, you could hear them move ever so slightly, just like that one. Until the torque converter hub is up in there, that inner pump gear can move slightly. Have the stator and this portion of the stator with the three balls faces down between this portion right here between the inlet and outlet or outlet and inlet vice versa whichever it is and then slide this over just a second I like to use an old drum as a tool pick up the body Rest it all in there. We can get the bolt holes lined up just right.
here they have about 20 foot pounds of torque on them Run in a circle, make sure I've got them all. Okay. Now, because this portion of the pump is so easily damaged in transport and handling. I take a piece of cardboard and I wrap this around it. You notice there's some extra cardboard sticking up here. I'm going to trim that, but not all the way. I want there still to be some extra cardboard there sticking up beyond the stator, helping to protect the stator from any damage. I'm only going to trim it halfway around. Alright, and before I tape this on there, I am going to take some of this trolling jelly and put a little bit on the ceiling rings, which is what I do before I install a pump. Somebody doesn't stick it in there dry. And this also helps protect against some getting it on the metal here on purpose. Helps protect against any further surface rust that might happen. Before it gets utilized. There we go. Okay. I can trim this right down the middle. And fold that over. Let's see, fold that one first. Then that one. Then that one. Blue duct tape because it's Ford. <laughs> Ford blue. That is some tough duct tape. Use the knife on it. tool out of the way, get our original desiccant paper, which helps keep moisture off of the pump. And I have the advantage of having a nice dry day after a nice dry week, so we don't have hardly any humidity today, which is rare, rare for Georgia. Welcome situation for this out of the package. Okay. I'm going to go get some new tape for taping this.
trying to get as much air out of there as possible. Now, I'm stuffing a little extra of the paper right here because that's where the tip of the stator is. And that's where we need the most protection right there, even though it's got extra wrap in cardboard. And then this is over top of it, and this folds over top of that again. Put some of that in the corner. And then more cardboard on top of all that. So that this, this end where the stator is, it is has as the most protection it can possibly have. Okay. These fold in first, second, third, because you can see where the staples were, and then fourth, like it was from the factory. The only thing that's different now is that, as before, when I received it, there weren't any staples there, and there was tape here instead. We're not going to just put one strap on here. I have a strapping machine for when I sell and ship transmission cases. I'm going to use that strapping machine to strap it both ways so that it crosses. And then when I ship this, I'm going to put this box in another box just to be sure. It has all the protection it can possibly have. Okay, so here we have it packaged back up, inspected, ready to go. The uh, original Ford part number right here, EOAZ7A103A is on the top. The uh, date was 52793. You can see that there's date on some of the packaging inside that's even older than that. So this has been new old stock sitting on uh, some Ford dealership shelf somewhere for a very long time before it got to me. I don't know how long it'll sit on my shelf before someone else purchases it if you do purchase this and you do receive this or any package that has this type of strapping on it yes the strapping is really good for keeping the box in good shape and so that the box can keep the pack the part in good shape and the more of it you use the better but for you as receiving the package be very careful around this type of strapping it's like a serrated knife edge and it can cut you to the bone and never never if, if these straps end up being loose for any reason, never stick your fingers under there and carry it around by the strap. I mean, it really slice you to the bone. I can't exp I, Ask me how I know. <laughs> there we have it. A rare treat indeed. A brand new Ford pump. The link is in the description below. Get them while they last. If you subscribe right now, I'll show you one of the biggest rats in the world.
hey, if you like this video, we got a whole lot more. We've got tool reviews, we've got repair videos, we've got show car videos, hot rods, mod rods, you name it. If it's got wheels on it and an engine, it's probably on this channel. So subscribe, like, and binge watch Zane Auto. Binge watch Zane Auto. Binge watch Zane Auto.